In this video, I'll be adding in 10 suggestions that I think would be cool if they were added to the game. Most of these suggestions come from the Featured Suggestions channel on their Discord, and I tried looking for the best ones I could actually do. I'll be mentioning a giveaway for early access as well at some point in the video, so make sure to watch the whole thing. I hope you enjoy. The first suggestions have to do with reviving after death. I've seen multiple suggestions saying that you should be able to pop your mode after death with a drawback, so I wanted to see how this would play out for some characters. First off is Gojo. If you die with full awakening, you should be able to use it after death to play a cutscene. To balance this, you should revive with only half your health and half your awakening bar still remaining. Another example for this suggestion would be Hakari. After dying, if you have your awakening, you would be able to pop your awakening in order to use your domain expansion. However, you'd only have one chance to enter your jackpot state. If you aren't lucky, however, you'd end up bleeding out and dying. The next suggestion isn't really a big change, but would add to the visual element to Jujutsu shenanigans. When you use your domain expansion, you've probably seen this cool pop-up effect show up. It would be cool to see this for certain moves. For example, when using Maharaga, there's only a small visual effect which can be overlooked during PvP. Here's what a pop-up would look like for Megumi's Maharaga summon instead. This pop-up could also be applied to different moves in the game. For example, here it is with Sukuna's Fuga ability. Fuga. Here's what the pop-up also looks like when using Hollow Purple. Kyosuke, Murasaki. If you've seen the anime, you've probably seen this scene where Toji gets packed up by Gojo after he uses Hollow Purple. This hollow purple is different from the one we see him use against Hanami, which is much larger than the one he used against Toji. If Gojo is able to use multiple variations of hollow purple, we should be able to as well. This suggestion on the Discord suggests we should be able to choose between three different variations of hollow purple by charging up the bar. There would be three sizes, with the smallest being the one against Toji, the medium being the current version, and the maximum being the 200% used against Sukuna in the manga. I tried to edit what the small hollow purple would look like if it was added to the game. Here's what it looks like. This next suggestion is also a bit similar to last suggestion. Most of the characters in the game use cursed energy as a visual element to their moves. For example, Itadori, Hikari, and Mahito all use cursed energy effects for their moves. Some people have wanted the ability to change their cursed energy, as maybe it would look better on certain avatars if their cursed energy was a different color. Here's what certain characters would look like if their cursed energy was a different color. I'm going to start by changing the color of Itadori's Cursed Energy from bright blue to orange. Here's what Hikari would look like with purple Cursed Energy. And finally, here's what Mojito's Cursed Energy looks like if it was blue. These two suggestions are related and have to do with Megumi's domain expansion, Chimera Shadow Garden, which was planned but not added to the game. 
When using Maharaga, if you decide you don't want to use Maharaga and instead want to use your domain expansion, you should be able to press R and cancel the Maharaga summon. Once you've canceled it, you'd lose the ability to use Maharaga and instead unlock the move Chimera Shadow Garden. Before I show you guys what Chimera Shadow Garden would do, I think now would be a good part of the video where I talk about the giveaway for early access. I recently hit 10,000 subscribers for this channel, so thank you all for the support. A lot of people who watch my content aren't subscribed, so I would really appreciate if you did, but you probably don't really care about any of that, so here's the rules for the giveaway. Just make sure to subscribe, like the video, and just comment down below something you'd like to see added with your username as well. I'll announce the two winners in my next video, which might be next week. Make sure to check that out. I'll be giving away more early access if I end up reaching 12,000. Anyway, back to the video. Chimera Shadow Garden is different from other domains in how it's deployed. If you've read the manga, you'd know that the domain is incomplete and doesn't have a barrier. In game, you would have to place your domain inside a building to function as a barrier. It would take the shape of the interior of the building and wouldn't let anyone caught in it out. Opponents would have slower mobility and shouldn't be able to dash while in the domain. In the manga, Megumi's domain only boosts the power of his Shikigami, so maybe they could be unblockable or have lower cooldowns. Another part of the domain that would make it more lethal would be adding the ability to push your opponents down into your shadows. If you downslam the opponent, you would send them into a shadow realm, which you can enter yourself by using your special. I tried to recreate the thing at the back of Megumi's domain, but I don't think I was very successful. Anyway, when you're in the shadow realm, the enemy would take constant damage while inside the shadow realm, and the movement debuff would still be there. This allows you to seclude enemies so you don't get jumped in your domain, and also makes it lethal. I think Chimera Shadow Garden would be awesome to have in-game, and wouldn't be too intrusive if it didn't take up a move. The last few suggestions are going to be some quality of life suggestions which would improve the game slightly. For example, awakening emotes. When you normally awaken, you have your basic default awakening animation. However, if there was an awakening emote slot, the emote would play instead of the awakening animation, like this. Everyone in the game has a special ability, like Itadori and Gojo, but you never know when the cooldown is up for it because it doesn't show you ruining your combo. There should be a bar right below or above your awakening showing you. This next suggestion has to do with domains. It feels like some moves which should break domains end up not doing so, like the world cutting slash. It would be cool if the domain would break instantly after being hit by the world cutting slash since it targets the world itself. Another thing that should break domains is Max Elephant. Max Elephant feels like such a big move but doesn't do anything to a domain. From a certain height, Max Elephant should be able to destroy domains so long as it is summoned from a certain height. And last but not least, add this person's cat to Jujutsu Shenanigans. 